Happy Drag Race finale, you guys. We have made it to the end, and congratulations, Nymphia. Let's just jump right into the, 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 the meat and potatoes of this. Nymphia has snuck away with the crown, and you know what? Well deserved. This this was one of the best um, finale shows um, that we've seen in a long time. I mean, they're always really good, but I think this one is going to have a lot of moments that we're really going to remember um, and there is going to be an official reunion. We didn't get that reunion special this season where, you know, the girls come together and talk and, and, and discuss all the drama and the high points and the low points of all the things that happen over the course of the season. But my thing is, um, the reunion's not happening until July and they've already announced All Stars. All Stars is starting in May. So my fear is that by the time they get to the point where they actually have the reunion, which is going to be hosted by T.S. Madison, which is really great. And it's going to be filmed live. Um, I think this is something new or at least something that we haven't done in a really long time. Well, we like I work at World of, World of Wonder. It's going to be interesting to see, but I'm just afraid that it's, you know, it's going to be old T by then. I don't know. But then again, I guess Die Hard Drag Race fans are still going to want that. They're going to be interested. It's going to be, you know, but I, I don't know. It, it just seems like forever away, but really off the heels of them announcing Nifia one, they're already like, and here's all stars. So most of the girls, everyone looked really good, but some of the girls, cause you know, all the Queens, they come out and, uh, you know, they, you know, come to the grand stage and they show their outfits and stuff. And, and like, there was some really, really good looks. Don, um, I mean, Don was cute, but not, I didn't mean Don. Sorry, no shade, but I'm going to say Plasma. Plasma looked gorge. Morphine looked beautiful. Cube looked cute. Uh, you know, some people, I was like, what y'all wear? Like, you know, don't get me wrong, look, man, I love, uh, what's her name? Tsunami. Like, I love Tsunami, but I'm like, what, I, what you wear? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, um, for the most part, this was very high quality drag. This was a this was a good group of girls and I'm looking forward to seeing some of these girls, a lot of these girls on, um, you know, on All Stars. Uh, for the first time ever, we had two congenialities. So congratulations to Tsunami Muse, which I saw her being a congeniality. And um, Safira, who was, you know, was one of our top three. So Safira's in the back getting ready for one of the lip syncs because, you know, they have a lip sync battle. And uh, so she's back there getting ready for like the next part of the competition. And they're like, and for the first time in Drag Race history, we have two Miss Congenialities and Safira. So Safira came out, had a little bonnet on, had a little, had a little robe on. Like, oh, I'm watching you back out trying to change. And um, I was like, are we going to have a double crowning? Because that would be so cool if uh, Safira won congeniality and was crowned the winner of season 16. But a part of me also was like, if she's getting congeniality, I kind of already knew she's probably not going to win the thing. So I, I, I guess the girls voted for congeniality this year um like they have in the past but yeah both of those make sense i'm glad that safira walked away with something um playing jane you could kind of tell that she was not probably gonna win because she had a hard time getting sincere with the questions and um you know you gotta have some kind of vulnerability it, it's kind of it's hard nymphia safira and playing Jane, they all had their individual shiny moment numbers before they went head to head with each other. Playing Jane's number was great, but in comparison to what Nymphia did and what Safira did, it was just already like you knew who the top two were gonna be. So yeah, it came down to Nymphia, Safira, and you know, I I thought I was like, Shh, I don't know, Nymphia, I don't know, man. But then I was like. I could see Nymphia doing it, and Nymphia pretty much won. I would say in the first, within the first ten seconds of the head-to-head -head battle with Safira, I she won. She revealed, so she came out. She had this big old like mink coat on or something she had on, and 
she opens it up and these black balloons just all come out float and i'm like girl how did you walk out here and not a balloon escaped but nymphia's reveals and then she did like a cartwheel she did like a flip and took off another garment and had something else on the reveals were unlike anything that we've seen on the show i mean they were very innovative they were very nice Sophia had a, a reveal, but it just, it wasn't, uh, no. And really, honestly, her, her entrance look for this finale, um, it was just okay in, compar in comparison to what Nymphia was wearing and what, in Plain Jane, she looked good too. Um, I don't know, but also I didn't really care for what Sophia wore to the viewing party either. So y'all know with Drag Race, they film all versions of the in of who could win right so when we found out who won the girls also find out who won because they don't want it to get leaked out right so they always film the so for instance so they'll film nymphia winning they filmed plain jane winning they filmed sapphira winning so they film it and they reset and yeah right so anyways when the finale airs, they have a viewing party for the girls. And so we get to see their real reaction in real time. And anyways, what all that to say, what Safir was wearing at the viewing party, to me, I was like, girl, what are you wearing? But Safir is so fierce. Plain Jane is so fierce. Any three, any one of the lessons would have made a great season 16 reigning queen. Sasha Fierce stepped down. She did her little numbers. So I guess we're doing step down numbers now. She looked really good. I enjoyed her number. I, I enjoyed all of this. There's rumors that this finale stage is going to be the new main stage on Drag Race, which that's going to be really exciting to see. If you've ever watched Celebrity Drag Race, it's, I think it's that same stage, you know, that big stage. I think they're going to get rid of the T shape stage that we've had on drag race for eons so that'll definitely give the girls you know more room literally more room to put on some really great numbers and shows and some really nice lip sync battles but anyways nymphia congratulations uh little miss banana queen represent the the asian girls the east asian girls and um yeah, you've, you've made your country proud, and uh, yeah, welcome to the winner's circle. I mean, I'm pleased. I encourage y'all to go and look at everyone's looks. Uh, really good stuff. Really good drag. High-end drag. So, yeah, and uh, All-Stars is right around the corner. Are we reviewing All-Stars? No, we we, we not we not doing all that. You know, every now and then I might chime in on the But yeah, so this is it for Drag Race until... Uh, next season till next year. So yeah, congratulations to you again, bud. Oh, but me, I'ma be back next week. We just gonna be talking about something else. So <laughs> Okay, bye!